civilizations die from suicide, right. not by murder. We'll come to the argument by argument in the book, but why do you lead the book with that quotation? Well, because I think the West is uh, disintegrating. It's the greatest civilization the world has ever produced, and I think it is dying. Uh, take a look at what happened from the day, for example, my father was born in 1905. Western empires controlled the entire world with the addition of Japan and Asia, six or seven countries, America included, controlled the entire world. We went through two world wars that carried off something like 100 million people, most of them Western peoples. And as a consequence, I think all these Western nations, they all lost their empires, almost all have lost their armies and navies, they have lost their basic fundamental Christian faith, Certainly Europe, the Pope says, is a desert of godlessness. And as they have lost that, their culture has begun to disintegrate <clears throat> and the people have begun to die. There's not a single Western nation whose native-born population has a birth rate that will enable it to stay in its present form through this century. Take a country like Italy, it's got a birth rate. Each new generation is one third smaller than the last. Mm. Russia is gonna lose 25 million people between now and 2050. It's already lost 10 million since independence, say in 1990. Japan is gonna lose 25 million people. You go down there, these are UN statistics. They're based on fertility records that go back uh, when the nations began to die, basically to the mid-1970s. So I think you're going to see the West and its peoples shrink as a percentage of world population. All of them, I think, will be predominantly in terms of their population by the end of this century, folks from the third world and from different cultures and civilizations. And the idea they're going to preserve Western culture and civilization, I think, is, uh, is really putting hope over experience.